Hey, we, yeah, do you I mind think, if I inter interpose another story uh, that we talked please. about a little bit yesterday uh, and got your opinion on it? We were I was doing an interview on triangulation uh, about uh, privacy, uh, and we were talking about the Amazon Echo. And uh, but it doesn't just apply to the Echo; it applies to so many of the devices in our homes now that are our TVs listening. are now li are also listening. TVs, yes. the Connect uh, from Microsoft. That was the first time we heard these uh, right. f uh, fears. Uh, of course, our phones. Um, and he had quoted in an article. He had quoted a um, a researcher in privacy and an analyst for Forrester, who said that uh, she and her husband. We're having a conversation. He had been looking on Amazon for suitcases. They were about to travel. They had a conversation about it. She went back to her computer. All of a sudden, she was seeing ads for suitcases on her computer. And from that, she deduced that the Echo had been listening to their conversation, notified Amazon, and Amazon had modified its recommendations based on that. Um, uh, and for that reason, she disconnected the Echo and sent it back to Amazon. I'm, I'm just wondering what your opinion is on these always-on listening devices. My impression is that it's doing pattern matching. All of these devices, none of these devices have enough smarts to uh, yet to interpret. Maybe a phone does, but most of these other devices do not have the smarts to interpret your speech. So they will send your speech to the server, but they're not sending everything to the server. They wait to be triggered. So what they're what they are doing is listening and pattern matching what they hear to their trigger words. That's why it's a limited subset of trigger words. And when they hear that trigger word, then they, in effect, wake up and say, okay, now whatever you say after that, we are going to send to Amazon. It, would, so, it was my opinion that it would be obvious if they were sending all the audio back to Amazon. You could look so, at it with Wireshark. And I, and I also feel like, besides the, the clear PR hit, if people discovered that, they don't want all of everybody's audio sent back to them at all times. Anyway, right. that's my opinion. What do you think? So, um, okay, there are there are two ways this could go. I've mentioned to you before that it is not necessary to pause after you say the trigger word. Uh, so, so, and that was one of the things I first noticed is you can say her name and then immediately start asking the question. And, uh, but when you use it interactively, there's a delay between you using the, the trigger word and the little ring at the top lighting up. By the way, so Google Now sort... works that way as well. You can say the trigger words and continue to speak. Because, Correct. And presumably, I would guess what's happening is that they were now recording and sending it back. Uh, well, so, so what, what, what the device is always doing is listening and streaming what it, all the received audio um, internally. And and that and so when so it it certainly takes some ta some processing for them to decide if the if the phrase if the key phrase is part of that buffer, and but the idea is that, I likened it to a grep. It's yeah. kind of doing regular expression matching on this stream of audio, looking for well, a pattern. And, and you can you from from an algorithmic standpoint. You can definitely design an algorithm to understand anyone's a, 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 a large range of speech saying a given word. That is, you know, the the word a uh, lex a. Uh, you know, those sounds can be can be set so that the device will respond to anyone saying that. And so, so exactly as you say, then, then when it's been triggered, it begins storing up the audio, no doubt compressing it, and, and then beams it, almost certainly beams it off to Amazon where serious big iron decompress the audio, run it through a, um, a, 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 a standard, you know, sort of like, like a dictation style system where the audio is converted to text, you know, uh, text to audio conversion, and then, and then run through some sort of neural network to figure out what it was you did. Now, at the same time, with bandwidth and connectivity and so forth, it's conceivable, well, and, and power. I would say, I mean, we know that we have text-to-speech um, available now in, 
in relatively small devices. There's nothing that would prevent the, the, that, that device from doing local text-to-speech, except training. Training is, you know, is normally really required for reliable text-to-speech, and there's no training that you have to go through, although there are some phrases that you can, you know, when you set up the device, that, that, that you can read to her in order to improve just the general recognition. It's not clear whether that stays local or whether that is sent to Amazon as, as, as part of the profile of the users of the machine. So, uh, so it's really, it comes down to what you were saying about using Wireshark. Um, given these allegations, people will uh, presumably look more closely at the traffic coming from that device. If nothing much happens until the trigger word and the question, and then there's a flurry of, of network activity, then we, we can assume it's not listening all the time and sending the stuff back. My guess about that particular story is that there was some searching for luggage that was done before the conversation in front of the device, and then some more some more surfing was done, and oh, look, you know, from, from, from the original searching that was done beforehand now we're selecting ads and so forth or yeah, i mean that's what i said i could consider i could come up with three or four scenarios that are much more likely uh, -huh. uh and make much more sense than than the echo listening at all times and by the way many people have wire sharked the echo unfortunately yeah. it's ssl so the traffic is encrypted but you could tell by the volume of data that it's Correct. not sending back audio at all times Correct. nor is the connect nor is google now nor is okay siri or any of that stuff Yes. Um, and it, no one would design it that way. No, uh, it would flood. It would, it would create a denial of service attack yeah. on the on the data center <laughs> to have an incredible number of streams of data coming in 24-7. And as I pointed out to our guest, I mean, you can – if there are plenty of other privacy harms that are genuine. You don't need to make up FUD uh, in order to prove your point. And, in fact, you damage your – case if you ask me if you start inventing harms that don't exist because then people right. question your credibility in general um, and so it's unfortunate that this kind of stuff uh, gets around and yeah of course there's nothing to say that there isn't a switch at Amazon headquarters that the NSA could come in and say oh by the way we'd like to listen to everything that comes out of Leo's house of course I carry around a smartphone which has a microphone a camera a GPS device and it's in my pocket at all times. Yeah. Frankly, I think the NSA is much more likely to buck that. And I doubt that this so-called privacy expert destroyed her smartphones. Anyway. Yep. I mean, it'd be very, it'd be easy to, for instance, for Amazon to say, oh, we see you have the same address as somebody who's searching for luggage. We think you might be going somewhere. Or, I mean, there's lots of ways, ways you could think of this has happened. Yeah. Without yeah. having to make Amazon's Echo more. Yeah, it may have been this. booking those airline tickets uh, yeah. that was it, the, precisely, the event. precisely. <laughs>